Hi everyone, welcome to TechMakers. My name is Guilherme Meira, and today I'm going to teach you how to do the authentication process using Bubble's backend and Xeno's backend. So if you want to learn more how to build your app without using code, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. So here we have our Bubble editor. You see here that we have a group. This group is a column and here inside we have three inputs. We have username, password and confirm password. And this one here is a group, but we are going to use it as a button. For this group here, we have a custom state. This custom state is called login sign up. It is a text and the default value is sign up. This is what we are going to use to display it and hide elements. And also the one that we are going to use to sign up or log in the user. So if you see here, we have conditional and group login sign up login sign up custom state is sign up this guy here is a little bit bigger than the other one it, the font weight is changed same here we have the login and when we have the login we just need to hide this guy here which is our confirmed password which you don't need it so first to do the authentication using bubble you're going to start with add a workflow here in our group and right here we're going to do uh, we're going to add a conditional only when group login login sign up custom state is sign up now for first action we are going to keep it simple and we are just going to sign the user up here for email we have to find our input email value for password same thing, find the input, user password, value. And here we can require a password confirmation. We already have the input, so let's do it. Perfect, with this, we already have signed up our user. So let's just send this user to another page. I'm going to send them to dashboard only if they are signed up so let's add one more thing here which is terminate this workflow if current user is locked out okay so if for some reason this thing here doesn't work we are not going to send that to our dashboard and so the user don't get confused. Let's add an alert here. I use this very, very cool plugin called Beep Toast Alert. Let's throw in here before we terminate this workflow. And just something went wrong. Sorry. Okay. And this will only be showed if the current user is not is locked out okay perfect now for the login we can just copy and paste this one here because we are going to use the same group slash button and these will happen only with when our custom state is login perfect now we can delete all of this Actually, let's keep this one. Instead of sign up, we're going to log the user in. The first thing here is add our input, which is our user email and our password. Yeah, we can keep this alert and we can keep this terminate workflow. Perfect. Now let's test this. So let's add our email, contact plus test one at techmakers.online. Our password, one, two, three, four. And confirmation, one, two, three, four. Sign up. Awesome. We see here that we are logged in. Now that we have successfully signed our user up, you can see here our email. We can go back here. And do the login. Logged in. 
and now we are logged in on our bubble app now we have to do the same thing for Zeno we can go here to our Zeno project and check our database this is our user table you see that we have no records here now we need to go to our API library go to default and here you see that we have this off section we have one for login and one for sign up both are post and we have a get to check if the user is actually logged in using the authentication provide when we logged in or when we sign up the user so the first one that we're going to get is sign up the one thing that we need from here is our endpoint url now let's go to our bubble app and here in plugins you're going to use the api connector add another api let's call it xeno and our first api will be sign up these again will be a post and let's space here our endpoint so we're going to use json and how we can get the json body so we can use this on our api call let's go back to xeno go back to our api library default and you see here that we have a swagger documentation click in here and then we will have access to all json from all our tables you see here that our sign up off we have the simple value here let's just copy this paste in here then we need to add our dynamic elements so let's remove name and here for email we want an email tag and for password we want a password tag of course we need to initialize this so let's create a user from here those two must not be private and let's use the same user that we already have on our bubble database so let's add here contact plus test one at techmakers.online one thing here in bubble we don't have a preset value um, or requirement for our password, but here in Zeno we do. So let's just create a very strange one. Then, okay, initialize the call. And we have here our off token. This off token we use for, for our get um, API call where we can get the um, data from the user. Let's save this. Here we have our sign up API call. Let's build the other one for login and me. So login. It's also a post. Let's go back in here. Login. Cop endpoint. Add in here. Go to our swagger. Login. Take this. Add in here. Add our tags or again email and password let's take the password from here email and initialize the call okay we have our off token again Let's save it. Let's collapse this. And now let's go back to um, our me API call. Okay. This one here will be a get. So copy the endpoint URL. Add another call. Let's call this one me. So we don't have don't get confused. Come here. So for this call here, you see that we don't have to send any parameters in our body, but we need an authorization. 
So let's add here in our header, authorization. Let's take the token from this call here from our login API call. Let's copy this, paste in here. This should not be private. And let's initialize our call. This is, we need to change to date. And the other ones are good. Save. And that's it. Now let's build our workflows to be able to do the login and sign up from here. So the first thing that we need to do now is we need to change our workflows. Instead of just deleting them, let's just copy one and let's disable the workflows. Okay. Now the first one that we're going to build is the sign up. And let's delete all this. Actually, we can leave it here. First thing that we need to do is go back to our plugins. And here we see that our sign up and login are set as data, but we want them as actions. So let's change this to action. And our me call will still be data. So here in our workflow, this one is for sign up. We just need to search for Zeno and do the sign up. Here for our email, again, our input, email value. And for password, same thing, but for our password. Now here for our alert, we are going to change the conditional. Instead of checking if the user is locked out we need to get data from an external API. Zeno me. The authorization will be the Zeno one of token. And if this guy email is not empty, or sorry, is empty, then we show the alert. Again, we copy this, paste in here to terminate this workflow. Now let's do the same thing for login. We just need to change here to login. And here, instead of Zeno sign up, we have Zeno login. And for Zeno login, we also have email. And password. Same thing. And one thing that I forgot is for a user to be able to send calls, we need the authorization token and we need a place to save this authorization token. So if we come here to our data, data type, and we add one thing to our user called Zeno, Zeno token, which will be a text. Now we have a place to save this. And even though we are not creating a user on our database, when we do this, make a change to current user, and we use Zeno token equals to current user of token. What happened is Bubble will save these on um, on their cookies. So every time that this user is during a period these users come back to your platform, you will get access to their off token. If we if we don't, they will have to log in or sign up again. Copy this, add this in here. Change the where it's come from. Done. Now let's test this. Okay, so the first thing that we need to test is our sign up. So let's go add our email.
Remember, for Xeno, we have a couple of requirements for the password. You can check on their documentation. Okay, let's do it. Now we see here that we have our token, okay? But we did not create a user for this guy. So you see here, I will hit refresh and we have only my own user and the user that we did for um, the bubble backend test. But if you go here to our Xeno database and we hit refresh, you see that this guy was created. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. I really hope that you have learned something. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like, and make sure to follow up. If you need help with your app, I will leave my website here in the description. Make sure to follow me on my social media and see you in the next video.